Because as everybody knows, Caps' dad is a fan favorite, but today in the crowd, with Caps' sister and their little ones alongside. Caps' dad <laughs> promising me that the little girls are a good luck charm. Only two, but, um, I mean, wow. you never really know what Broken Blade is going to come towards. That Heck was, wow, that was not a champion I expected to see at all in this draft. The majority of them. Kedril, how many games of Vi has Jankos played in his entire career? I'm going to say three. How many games has he won in his entire career? None. Three! Oh, oh, you wow. got bang on correct. <laughs> three games played for Yankos. Oh, All three of them were victories, and it will be Irelia top lane. Is that the counter you were anticipating? Yeah, definitely. I mean, of course, these champions do well in Tanar. Things like the Irelia um, has so much all-in potential into champs like Kennen, Jace, Nar, these ranged champs that don't really have huge level six spikes. Yes, Kennen's is good. So he can do a hell of a lot, but nuclear in. Oh, oh, he took a tower oh, shot. Oh, glacial pawn, flash forward, the auto oh. the level. Was it the level? It saved him? I feel like it was the level up. Wait, force, take it back. Just gonna catch the replay here, and we'll have to see because I mean, there's the electrocute proc. So the charm comes in, caps is completely out of mana, and we we'll just have to see here. So, oh, oh yeah, I think that he was definitely died. the level. Yeah, up. that definitely. was definitely yeah, Smitey's way. Neither jungle, no Smite. They're just gonna walk past each other in the night. Yeah, still looking at this mid lane though, we talked about no flash available. Right, glacial path, Ring of Frost, cleanse, kick back from a devastating charge, below 100, below 50, first blood, nuclear in. Oh, Synchro of level 5, there is of course that frozen tomb, the path, the claw, the root, the onslaught, the mantra as well as the devastating charge backwards and caps does get run down. BDS once again strike early. And this you can see the CS difference in the jungle. Gold slightly in Jankos' favor because of the two assists. I mean, helping Synchro out. Flak, it gets rooted up here. Needs to be careful. A lot of damage below 100. The Q will flash, be flashed away from. So Flash and Cleanse traded. Doing very wow. much. He gets the roam top of Caps, and this is the pain that you were talking about. Well, Aggressivo's got the flash available to him. He's rooted up against the wall. Three members of G2 step forward. And Aggressivo will still alive. Just a few seconds longer. Finally taken down by the oh, Stays alive. One or more denting blow. But the amount of time he buys allows Nuclear in to get in. Now, the Krop is in the vicinity. He's on a ward, but he doesn't know it. So if they commit to this dive, looks like the Herald will be dropped. Does he go on Aggressivo? Aggressivo is starting to back away. No flash. A few seconds longer. Salt and battery still available. Not yet used just yet. Dunked down. Finally stays alive. Goes down by Broken Blade's hand. Nuclear in. Back. In the fray, Shelly's doing work on the tower as Synchrov is rampaging his way across Broken Blade. Caps and Targamos arrive. Tidal Wave is thrown out, and that will get a knock up onto the pony. Another kill secured for BDS as Adante takes out Broken Blade. Nuclear in the next target, caught Caps. up by the charm. The Deceiving Blips going backwards, and Targamos tagged out. Glacial Park in retreat. Four. Spirit Rush 1, Spirit Rush 2, flashed away from. One more rush available to him, but Caps is caught out. Oh, Targamos is hunting. He finds the kill with the ebb and flow. Oh, Caps. The prison side step before Caps comes one back in, gets another charge of the Spirit Rush, and Dante locks down Caps, aggressive oh, the, 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 dash. the fight has gone long enough for him to respawn, Caps continues to run for his life, Flash still available to him, Aggressivo has not got a lot to chase, and Targamas throws out that ebb and flow, step forward, oh, Caps oh gets God. himself he's still alive, kill. call Caps, the avatar is playing with fire right now, he manages to come out alive, gets kills, gets two of them, what a super play, what was that? From Caps! Well, he managed to dash away, but now we've got another fight. Hang on I'm a second. I'm so sorry. Right back into the next one. This time round, BDS will finally engage onto Caps, but the prison no from Targamos is so good. The prison manages to prevent BDS getting the kill. I mean, the and we have got ourselves a game on our hands. Oh, we definitely do. And you don't call Caps the best in the West. But for that reason, of course, Synchro looking for Broken Blade. Yeah, the Onslaught of Shadows goes out and Broken Blade. Well, you got. Nothing. That nope. just kind of sucked. Dropping of little things here and there yep. for BDS that's giving G2 these windows to come back. Definitely could have pushed their advantage a little bit more. Now G2, the one's playing a little bit aggressive here, Dante. Oh, gonna find the engage. The Yankos goes out with the uh, assault, uh, the, uh, the line, assault the battery, rather, but he's the one that goes down. Yeah, they, they just get to refresh it and start to creep it in further into BDS's side. Oh, does Synchro get turned into glue? Um, and it's not gonna get jumped on just yet. Baltimore members of BDS instead. Synchro steps forward. Two or three members available. We'll find their fear at least on to one. Blades run down the line, of course, running the plates of steel caps. Maybe he has a little bit of tenacity in runes, but I think the Sandra ult onto Nar could be a go to in terms of front to back here. Maddie. Oh, so much damage back and forth. The tidal wave comes out. Maddie, because he's the one that gets the kill, but it's actually Targamas that picks up the kill onto Maddie, and now caps. Well, it's in a spirit rush forward, finds the chop, Orma deception. 
There's of course the South Charm on the Frozen Tomb. Nuclear Wind uses that stopwatch that Kegel talked about. The route onto Yankos. The Assault of Barry was on cooldown. The teleport was committed from Aggressivo, and it is a minute until Dragon. Yeah, in their favor. Small gold lead to them, and like you said, one minute on that Dragon. Aggressivo. Oh my word. Gets caught out. Targamas and Caps just landing every single skill shot. Aggressivo oh. oh. manages to find the burning oh. cap. Oh. We got him taken out. Oh. Yeah, I've seen it happen before. I've seen it happen before, and Agassibo is going to find Caps. Oh, he's going to look for the stun, finds it, dashes forward, Yankos comes up, dash over, chased, follow down, there goes Caps over the wall, and this time round, no Where's flash available, I can shift his. Uh oh, he's recoiling Where's on a ward, he's, he's be careful. Go? Where's Caps go? Two, three screens, forward! And finally, it's Maddie will get taken down, four members of G2 throw everything under the tower, Nuclear Red turns one back, Not Sword of Shadows has already been used, and Yankos goes golden, in and amongst four members of BDS, oh, BDS. Oh, into the wall! Broken Blade manages to slow down BDS, but there's no follow-up, there's no damage, because Caps and Flacken have been pushed They're gonna away. They're going to chase. BDS are on the Look chase. Look at the pink ward that was just there at the back of red. That's what let Caps have that free roll. Oh, Caps! Oh, my word! Tidal Wave comes out, and Dante will finally get taken down, but that damage? That was disgusting. absurd. That was... Let's find out whether or not Nuclear can survive this one. Two members of G2 step forward, the charm connects. The path was interrupted and the rest of BDS will be too late He's to dead. the fray. Hourglass buys a little extra time. True Shot Barrage goes out and Caps almost taken out. Two minutes away till the Dragon. That Mountain Soul could do wonders against no Caps way. as he's going to look for it, Dante. This time around the Charm doesn't find his target, may not even be needed. Synchroth chasing, stepping forward, holding on to the ultimate. Caps throws out that Orb of Deception. Here comes Aggress. Target Mask completed the Mikhails. We'll see how he uses it against Nuclear Int's ult Caps on a ward. Has cleansed though, but it looks like they might commit. They're going to commit, they're going to commit. Charge is already used. One, two, rooted, flashed over the wall. Synchroth got the onslaught. The turret! He used it just yet. Oh, he gets oh, taken oh. out. Glue 2 is what G2 say to you. All of a sudden, Aggressivo gets chunked, burst down, but Xmati finds himself a kill to Tiger Mask before Aggressivo is taken out. Also, the it's carries losing both their summoners on yeah, G2. Yeah, I think that's going to be the big one. Caps not having it, Flacken not having it. And he's got the ulti available to him, keeping our eyes on Caps, keeping our eyes on that frozen tomb. Flacken gets chunked out by a mystic shot. The culling goes awry. True Shot Barrage tags up Yankos and Synchroth devastatingly charges onto the wall. The Glacial Bot goes forward. You go into trouble. Made into self cost. The Onslaught Shadows from Synchroth disengages out. G2. That's one for BDS. Flacken's going low and burned and killed. Taken out by x Maddy, but at what cost? Caps is the it's first on the board. Dragon's going low. Dragon the focus. 1000. Secure by BDS. They get themselves a soul broken blade. Throws three members of BDS against the tower and target boxes last man standing. Oh. Nexus. Crucially, X Matty cleaning up late. He stayed alive long enough to get the damage down. Yeah, we see both dives happening at the same time. Nuclear Int is the victim, and so is Yankos, both in this kind of brawl pit going on. Both teams want to get that first kill. Nuclear Int has a lot more self peel though, to work with. And now Broker Blade just trying to stack up because Neganar, eyes on caps. Watch confidence here. Watch the confidence here from Matty. Dashes forwards and just solo kills him before he can even blink. And that kill is just so important because as much as Broken Blade gets a fantastic ult, there's no follow-up left. And I saw Broken Blade going in, it's like he has the flash, he can make the play. Playing with the rest of BDS, threatening G2 away. Great patience from BDS, knowing caps. that they can win in two, but here caps. we go. Caps, 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 caps. Looking for the target, Yankos has got that Assault and Battery available. Oh, Teleport coming in, Caps doesn't find the target, gets away from the Everfrost as well. There's the engage from Aggressiva, jumping forward into Broken Blades. Caps trying to time the TP land there to get the charm onto Nuclear and look for the one shot, doesn't get it, and he's lost his ultimate, Nuclear and still has his flash coming up for Nuclear Soon yeah, Caps on the force. Rush, bro rush, caught out. Nuclear throws out the tube. Goes golden for Caps. Two shot rush flies out. Oh, goes into. He breaks back Caps. Straight down and going golden. Sent into the grayscale. The tower will fall. BDS with Baron and Power Ninja are still pushing forward. They get themselves the inhibitor. It's a five versus four. And they're looking at the Nexus. Can they end this? The question. G2, what have you got left? Broker Blade has the Mega but it's about to wear out. He has to go. I mean, there's only a few minions left. It's G2 trying to see if they can make the defense. Aggressivo just landing to poke. Ex Maddy dashing forward. Packet's gonna go in, gonna go out. It's chunked out so low. Yankos does a lot of damage before Ex Maddy takes him down. Packet it's over. Also going away with his life. The Nexus turret number one has fallen. 25 seconds for Caps. 45 seconds for Yankos. Glacial Bot forward into the Ring of Frost. Aggressive is looking for the kill. The Nexus turrets are down. The Nexus is being focused. And BDS will stop the unstoppable G2. What a redemption.